Hi there, I'm Gwen Rich and welcome to another 365 Days of Dirt. So today my tip is going to be about accessorizing with a specific garment or ensemble. And I'm going to give you four examples. This specific garment is one of the examples. And what I'm referring to is when you pick something out and then you're thinking, okay, well, how do I want to accessorize with this garment? This specific jacket has no design elements. It has no zipper, toggle, buttons, anything that dictates a certain metal. A lot of times you'll see the buttons, the zipper, toggle, something um, that dictates whether it's gold, silver, bronze, or maybe two-toned. And like I said, this specific garment has natural buttons on here, so I can really go any way I want to. I can wear something like this that has some color into it, um, but the metal in here is silver. I've picked silver because I've had my coloring done and I have cool undertones, which means I really should be wearing um, silver for my jewelry. That's what's going to harmonize with my coloring and give me my better and best looks. So if you've had your color analysis done, then you know whether you have warm or cool undertones. If you have warm undertones, then you should be wearing gold. And some garment like this, it doesn't dictate your jewelry, you're automatically going to wear gold because that's what harmonizes with your skin tone. But for those of you who haven't had a color analysis done, okay, you're wondering, well, what colors should I wear? What accessories, what um, metals should I gravitate towards? And a lot of times your garment will dictate that. Um, but for instance, this garment does not. As I said, there, is, there are no design elements that goes either, one, either direction. So let me show you uh, three more examples that does and that can help you out when picking out accessories for your specific garment. Okay, so here's our second example for how to accessorize when your garment already dictates a certain metal. Here we have a denim jacket, which is already dictates that it's casual, but it happens to have silver. These are all silver buttons, and even on the side here, if you can tell, the buckle also is silver. So this screams silver, and so your obvious choice is to pick some silver accessories. So someone like myself who has cool undertones, when I'm looking for a, spe a specific piece in a store, I'm going to get a jacket that has the silver grommets, the silver hardware buttons, um, buckles um, because I know that works with my coloring. So when you have a jacket that's in your own closet and it's got the silver hardware on here, then you're going to want to go towards some silver accessories. Okay, here's our second example. Here we have a garment where our design elements, the buttons and the sequins that are in this jacket are gold. So this is a perfect example of where you would want to choose accessories that are in gold tones. This is going to give you your best looks. If you put um, something that has all silver in it, it's going to look off, it's not going to look right. Um, and just is not going to be an obvious choice to to give you your best looks and it's always about you know creating harmony within your ensemble or outfit and so with the gold that's on this one you'd want to choose gold accessories as well okay so here's the third example this is a great jacket to give you um, a visual for this specific question because I am asked a lot by my clients is what type of accessory metal accessories should I wear with a specific garment, specifically when the garment dictates a certain metal. This happens to be a jacket that has grommets all the way around it, and the grommets are bronze. Okay, So as an image stylist, I'm always picking out the best choice. Of course, you could wear anything. doesn't mean it's going to give you your best look. A lot of times, if it's not the best choice, it's very conflicting. It sets things off. It confuses people. You're, you're really not putting your best foot forward. So my suggestion when it's something like this, which is bronze, is that you wear bronze accessories. And if you don't have any, then you need to put that on your wardrobe list. And don't compromise. Make sure you find that great piece. The other thing to fall back on is a garment like this that has um, the interest. This creates interest, and this alone without any accessories looks great. So something, um, garment like this, where it is a metal that you don't have an accessory, I'd prefer that you not wear something than wear an accessory that conflicts with it and makes the outfit just so-so. So this is a great example. This is bronze. I happen to have a bronze necklace, um, so it works out great. 
Okay, so here is my final example of a specific garment that has design elements that would dictate what type of accessories, what type of metal you should use for your accessories. So I've already shown you three other examples. We had natural, which doesn't dictate either way. You can go um, any way you want to, whatever works best for your natural coloring. Then we had um, silver that was in the button, so you want to go with silver accessories. You could also do a two-toned, which looks nice. Silver is optimal. Um, two-toned would be your next choice. Um, we had a garment that had gold buttons and sequins, so gold is your optimal choice. Second would be two-toned, but you could also do something a semi-precious um, stone, for instance pearls, which would totally um, give you a great look but deviate from that specific um, metal if you didn't have gold. And this example has gold, a little bit of gold, but it also has in the buttons the coloring that's in the jacket. So here I want to show you a couple of things that you can do. I know, for example, that my best metals are silver. Then my next choice would be two-toned and then bronze. So this has gold in it. Now I picked out this jacket because it passed the fabulous test, which means the color is great on me, the fit, the style, you know, the pricing, everything. The whole thing, whole ball of wax, it, fa it passed the fabulous test. But it still had a little bit of the gold on here, which I know is not my best look. So what can I do to create my best looks? So we're always talking about your attention towards your face. Okay, it's the color reflecting off your face. So here I've given an example where I put a scarf around the neck, which actually hides three buttons. Okay, so you're, you're minimizing that gold around the face. I've also added a semi-precious necklace stone, okay, which detracts from the gold as well. So I can take one off or the other. I can leave both on, but both is a great way to distract from the gold. So if you know, for instance, that one specific metal doesn't work for you, but you have a great piece that dictates that, you can work with different accessories to camouflage that. Again, so what's around your face, you're minimizing that specific metal that's not your best uh, or works best for your coloring. So I hope that helps you. Um, helps you when you go shopping for specific garments. Look for the design elements in there that dictate precious metal. So if you know your coloring, you're going to want to go towards that silver or gold. Or if you have a garment that maybe you know that precious metal doesn't work for you so well, there are tricks, there are things that you can do to minimize that so that you don't you know, totally waste that garment. You can put it to good use and certainly create a, a fabulous look. So I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time for 365 Days of Dirt. Have any questions, please email me at info at imagebygwen.com. Thanks.